Shalom Yasharala. This is Yeshaya back at you with a car chronicle. On this car chronicle, I wanted to discuss <clears throat> Salak. I wanted to talk about uh damn, did it rain last night? <laughs> That's not what I want to talk about. Um I wanted to talk about how America, right? How America, how something everybody knows, right? There's so many conspiracy theorists, the fact that there's even, and this is just a small example, the fact that there's even a, a flat earth doctrine is because people distrust the government so much. So with all this anti-government sentiment throughout the country, you have a, a constitution that says if the, if, if, the, if the government no longer serves the people, that the people have a right to take up arms. And this is really in the Constitution. This is really what your so-called rights are as so-called Americans. Hold up, I'm about to... Salak. Um, yeah. So, with those being your rights as so-called Americans, right? How come nobody does it? And I'm going to tell you multiple reasons why. For one, we like it. The government knows exactly how to keep people pacified. The government says, hey, well, you know, here's your P, you know, PS4, PS5, GameCube, this, that, and the third. Like all, all these distractions, Super Bowls, uh, World Series, um, NBA Finals, college sports. You know, uh, different shows, fucking love and hip hop, real housewives, you know, a new Marvel movie, a new DC movie. Like they, they perfectly throw things out, right? It's almost like the America probably has different departments. You know, you have the sports department, probably you have the department of, you know, movies and shows and shit. And it's like, they're constantly told or, or electronics department, right? The new iPhone, the new Jordans, right? Like you have so many different things distracting the common, the so-called common people. Then you have poverty, you have laws. You have laws that people can't get guns if they did certain things. Like peep that. They, 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 they make sure to make getting guns. And this is this this um to strip this right is literally worth children's lives. Cause do y'all think that some fucking random white guy always all these times takes up guns and starts shooting up a school like just on purpose? Or in their right mind? Or do you think that maybe there's some type of MK Ultra? some type of brainwashing or some type of of even false flag setups. And when I say false flag, I'm not saying that kids are not actually being killed. I'm saying that the, these are deliberate uh, instances where not a crazed gunman, but, a, but a, a calculated gunman working for the government, maybe in an indirect capacity. And this is just a theory, right? <clears throat> I can't prove that a government, that a guy, a hitman is hired to kill kids at a school to promote gun control laws that are going to ultimately actually make guns harder to get for good people, for regular people. But the government got to know how stupid it is to, to make laws preventing bad people from getting guns since when has it been hard for a bad person to get a gun? So when you see a, a, a person, a person that, that goes to prison for unregistered, having an unregistered gun, those are usually law abiding citizens that just couldn't get a gun some other way. Or, or it's just easier to get a gun on the black market. Fucking retards, man.
sometimes I wish I could pull people over just to choke the shit out of them. How you just, you know, anyway, never mind. But yeah, may, even making things like driving, as, as, as many assholes as you got on the road, you know, driving is considered a privilege. That so many people of low intellectual abilities have. But it can be revoked. You know, you, you can you can be made, you can be stopped from driving. Right? You can have uh have those rights revoked. Getting a gun, as much as you think. As, and, and as much as in reality, you have the right to have a gun. You have the right to bear arms. If you've been convicted of certain crimes, you are not going to be allowed to. It's just the way it is. But is it just the way it is for a reason? Right? Is it deliberate? Do they purposely say, hey, you know what? The way we set up this system... Right, this system is going to help out and serve a small minority. And everybody else is just up for grabs. You know, I don't have nothing that they can't snatch. You know, as much as I like my my uh, Balmain sneakers, my JaVinci sneakers, my JaVinci shorts, you know, Versace jeans, you know, I like I like all the all the nice shit that rappers rap about. But that shit could be taken away from me. Like that. The money that I make, like that, snatched. And the thing is, why why do the people not re every a lot of people might ask, why do the people not rebel? Number one, they're distracted. As I've already very clearly, you know, laid out. And not only are they distracted, then you got people that are actually, that love it here. They love their life. They're not gonna, they're not gonna rebel. They're not gonna even speak up. See, Israelites, we're not going to rebel. We're gonna speak up though. And that's what makes us very different in the setup of America. And that's why they don't want us either. Because even though we're not gonna physically do anything, there are people that may listen to us, you know, given like, for example, white people that know that they don't have anything to do with us, but they'll say, wait a minute, but they're right about a lot of shit that they're bringing out about this country. And they're gonna, you know, they may establish their own thing. They might go and establish a fucking political party. You know, they might do take up arms against the government, which the American people have the right to do. You know, our, our ideals are ideals. You know, it can influence white and black people. Honestly, it can make a black person say, fuck that, I'm not fighting for America. It can make a white person say the same thing. It can make a white person say, I'm going to fight against America. And if a black person's dumb enough or Hispanic, they might say, yeah, I'll fight against America too, physically. Best way to fight against what America's doing is become spiritual and unplug from the matrix. The less people are buying into this bullshit called America, the, the less Israelites, I'll say, the, the quicker it's gonna fall apart. You know, but a lot of, a lot of people, America's got a stronghold on people that you don't even know about. You have Israelites that still believe that the Sabbath is Friday, sundown, and Saturday, sundown. That's how powerful America's uh, stronghold is on even Israelites. You have Israelites that are black and believe that Hispanics are not Israelites. You have Israelites that are Hispanics and believe that blacks are not Israelites. That's how strong the stronghold is that America has on Israelites. So you thought that is, oh yeah, Israelites, they're unplugged, yeah, yeah, they're woke. No, not all of us. You got a lot of Israelites, man, out here that are plugged all the way into the matrix. You got Israelites out here saying, yeah, yeah, take take the, you know, 
the dragon juice. Go ahead and, 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 and take you to dragon juice. Have Israelites that actually believe that shit. You know, and it's, it's, it's very sad. It's very sad. <clears throat> it's very sad what's going on out here. The, the level of, of ignorance that people are dealing with, that people are living with. You know? You have all type all types of people that are woke. Not too long ago, I talked to a female who's practically a porn not star, but you know, do it does porn and she knows so much shit about the government. And, I, and I'm like, damn man. Bad female too, real fine looking. Knows her shit though. You know, but this this society keeps people one way or the or another. You're not going to rebel, right? What do you have? The Tea Party. The Tea Party didn't rebel. What did they do? They, they, they where the fuck are they at now? They make sure that one way or the other they capture your mind. You have every right. Like they tell you, you can rebel. You can take up guns. You know, like look at the people that stormed the Capitol, right? They were doing what they what the fucking uh, Constitution tells them they could do. See, but the thing is, it doesn't say that the Constitution does not say that if you lose, you're going to get off scot free. It says you have the right to do it. Doesn't mean that you're free from consequence from it. You can rebel, you can take up arms, you can storm the Capitol, but guess what? Unless you win, motherfucker, you ain't, you are on your own. <clears throat> That's why they put charges on Trump for inciting it. That's why every single motherfucker that they caught back there got some type of charges put on them. Now, whether they're gonna serve time or not, I don't know. They did not do anything that they did not, that, that the Constitution didn't tell them they have the right to do. Right? They, you storm the Capitol with guns. That's what you do when you don't agree with your government. When you realize that your government is no longer serving you. Your best interests. They put it in there, right? The so-called forefathers put it in there. But the forefathers were, were about America. The people that run the world are not about America. They're about their own money, their own power structure. So here you have a, a, a piece of paper that in and of itself is, for the most part, noble. But then you have a society that perverts it, right? Freedom of religion and, and all that shit. Now you can claim you're part of some wild sex cult. They didn't think, they weren't thinking, uh, Satanism as freedom of religion. They weren't even thinking Islam or Israelites as freedom of religion. We just use it because they dumbasses put it there without being pacific. Oh no, you still have to be some type of Christian to 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 have freedom of religion. No, they there's they're fuck that. No, you can freedom of religion. Make it a general thing. Freedom to pursue your happiness. Freedom to be whatever sexuality you want to claim you are. You're a 26 year old man. You want to claim that you're a fucking goat? Then go right ahead. That's America. You know, this is, this is like, all this stuff is deliberate and people don't understand. Like a lot of times you need somebody that can articulate it, right? Because it, it, it's, it's kind of tough to explain sometimes. They, you have a governing body in America that wants to hold on to their power structure. And they will hold on to it at any, you know, like look at something simple as the Redskins, right? That's one of the, that's probably the most corrupt organization in sports. Those motherfuckers were selling 
11 year 11 month old peanuts in their fucking stadium how do you get to sell 11 month old peanuts in your fucking stadium and get away with it claiming it was a fucking mistake that's that's fucking uh that's America for you though you got the right amount of money you can get away with anything anything heinous all these sexual allegations all these sexual abuse allegations from Dan Snyder on down this is America you want to talk about a capitalist society you know a lot of y'all say yeah well you know the the ideals and shit of the United States government and whatever have you yeah you know they, they sound noble enough but the truth of the matter is they're anything but noble in practice in theory the way they sound on paper they're they're the most noble documents and the most noble things ever created right on paper it's not, oh life liberty pursuit of happiness but the fact of the matter is do we have life liberty and the pursuit of happiness do we have the right to do these things how much of a right do we have to do these things hell if you if you wanted to kill yourself if you wanted to kill yourself they, they make it difficult do you have right right to life because and, oh, and then right to life becomes, oh, you know, you have the right to kill, abort your child. Like, that that's murder. But they don't look at it that way. Or do they or do they actually look at it that way, but they pretend not to for the sake of passing their laws? See, in this system, the legality, the legal process is, is very, is, is crazy the way they let laws pass. Because, for example, right, how do you make abortion legal? You have to prove to people that you are not murdering a human being. So now you have to get people to believe, oh, this 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 little uh, group of cells that's growing inside of you is not a full human being. It's just so that you gave it a name. You gave it a fetus. You call it a, you, you call a you, you call it a fetus. So now, yeah, you know you can kill it. You can you can exterminate this soul without considering it murder, right? They change definitions and and they change the way you look at things. How do you how do you get people to actually be okay with homosexuality? You make it a biological thing. You make it, you, you say, hey, well, you know, people were born that way. Right? You change laws in time. Like, what do you think it means when the scriptures say that, that, that they change laws in time? They don't just change the time. Pay attention to the laws. What are laws? The laws of nature, the laws of the laws of God. Which are the laws of nature. They change all that to further their agenda. So now, okay, a fetus. So now they have a, a they can debate at any time. Okay, at when at which point does a fetus become a baby, a human being? You know, at which point does it become inhumane to kill a child? But then they also have laws protecting animals that you have to if you kill an animal, you have to do so in a humane fashion. Which really there should be no problem with. But an animal has more rights than a, than a baby. It's crazy. But this goes to show you what type of government, what type of life that we're living in here in Babylon. This is Babylon. This, and it's proven time and time again how this is Babylon. You can say this is America all you want to. This is really Babylon, man. This is not living what we're doing here. This is not life. This is not something that, you know, I, I can't say that I'm that I'm living a full life. 
I can't say that for the life of me that I'm living a full life. This society is is corrupt and it, it's it, it just it just goes to show, man. And then you have people that that believe what is corrupt? Right? And and we're back we're going back to this time here. It says uh Genesis Genesis 6 and 11, the earth also was corrupt before God and the earth was filled with violence and God looked up upon the earth and behold, it was corrupt for all the flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And the Most High said to Noah, the end of all flesh has come before me for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. See, a lot of people don't pay attention closely to the Bible. He's going to destroy mankind with the elements on the earth. That's why he caused it to rain. That's why it was a big 40 days, 40 nights, 40. <laughs> there was a lot of rain. 40, 40 days and 40 nights of rain. And, uh, you know, this this society is 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 really filled with violence. What And, and what's weird is it's not when we think violence, we think, oh, yeah, let me go punch you in your face. No. Homosexuality is violence. You're you're ripping somebody's anal, or you're 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 sticking a foreign object in a in, you know in a vagina that shouldn't be there, right? Pretending to be, uh, pretending a man is putting it in there, right? Um, a sex change operation when a man cuts off his rod that's that that's violence. You know, so we're not we're thinking violence in terms of like abortion is violence. Like we think violence is just, oh, you know, a man walking up to a man and beating him up. No, nah, it's 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 all this shit is violent. You know, the fact that women can lie and say they got hit beat, beat up by their man or smacked by their man and call the cops and the cops remove the man, they do it through violence. Whether they hit them or not. You know, nine times, that, I'll put it this way. They're coming ready to put hands on that man if he doesn't leave out the house. This society is violent. This is what we're living in in America. It's completely against God. And, just, you know, this video was really to, to illustrate for y'all why it's going on like this, despite everybody knowing. I guarantee, it, like, there's been polls taken where most Americans believe that Amer the American government is is uh, corrupt. Most people know that. Why is nobody doing nothing about it? Because because they are not going to unify. Israelites, see, I'm gonna give you an example. Israelites, we know the government is is ain't shit, but we're just gonna teach. We're not gonna take up arms because we know that that's a hopeless battle. Then you have those gun carrying crazed lunatics. They're not really lunatics. They they just uh. They're, they're for the cause but they're they're going to take up arms but they're not going to be as many of them then you have a whole bunch of people that know that the government is crooked or then you got people that believe only one political party is crooked you know so it's like a whole bunch of variations of different beliefs and all that shit you didn't have that when when America you know when 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 the so-called founding fathers of the United States took over and fought against England. You know, you had them unified. They were all in one common cause, right? Because now in America, you got a whole bunch of Muslims that know America's corrupt. What are they going to do? They're not going to take up arms. You, They can't take up arms. A lot of them, they're, they're going to scrutinize them even more than anybody else. They can't help take over the, the, the government. Right, because America, they know what they're doing. You have the ideals that America put on paper, and then you have the corrupt organization that's running and pulling strings behind closed doors that are constantly guiding world events to suit them. So 
This shit is not going nowhere. This system and the way that America does things is not going nowhere. It's just simply not. You know how it's going to go somewhere? When the Lord comes back and destroys it. And that's it. And that's why I took off the hat in the shades because, well, I'm about to put the shades back on, but y'all see the sun. But anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.